Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video we will talk about triggers in WPF. So the first question is what is trigger? So in layman's term if I would like to define this concept then I will say that if a certain condition is met then I want to do something. For example if I'll get 80% in my 10th exam then I will buy a motorcycle. It's very simple and it is that much simple in programming also. Trust me. So let's go to the next slide. So triggers in WPF is divided into three categories. The first is property trigger. So in property trigger, we are looking out for a property. So if property has a value that matches a specified value, then do something, then do some action. Let's see this in uh, action in Visual Studio. Then you will have a clear understanding of uh, property trigger. So I have already did some uh, prerequisites to make you understand this concept. I have this employee class which has two properties, first name and last name. And in XAML, I have bound these two properties to these two text box. Uh, first name to first one, first text box, and last name to second text box. Okay, so a trigger is always applied as a part of style. So first write style, target type, uh, say text box. And then at the moment I will write style dot, you can see here, trigger. In markup, property trigger is represented as trigger only. Now let's look out for the property, say is mouse over. If its value is equals to true, in that case, uh, I would like to set the font size. to 18 that's it so I'm looking out for a property if it's very true then I would like to do something it's very simple let's run this program and uh, see the result okay so let's write here text box the moment I will hover my mouse you see the size changed so that's the concept of property trigger look I looked out for a property and then did something here let's come back to the slide and see what is the the next uh, division the next is data trigger so in data trigger of course we are looking out for the bound data so if bound data has value that matches a specified value then i will do something uh, let's uh, come to visual studio again to understand this concept clearly so this first name is bound to the text of this text box so the text property of text box is having data which is coming out from the first name. So I will look out for the data which is there in the first name. Uh, okay, so in markup, uh, data trigger is represented as data trigger only, unlike property trigger, which is represented as trigger. Uh, now let's, uh, okay, of course, uh, I will look out for bound data. So I will look out for the data first name and if its value is equal to say text one in that case what i would like to do i'd like to set the property background to say light blue okay let's segregate this properly so I am looking out for this uh, data which is there in the first name uh, property. If it's value the moment it is text one, I want to change the background. So I'm looking out for data which is there in the first name. Let's run this. And uh, write text one. You saw the moment I write text one, the background changed to light blue. Let's write something else. It again, uh, change back to how it was earlier let's uh, delete this came again so the moment it, it looked out for the data text one so that's the difference in property we looked out for property and in data trigger we looked out for the bound data which is there in first name let's come back to the slide and the third category is the event trigger this is again very simple as the name suggests we are looking out for the event so you can detect any router event and the moment uh, it triggers then you can respond with an action or a group of action let's see this also in action to make you understand this concept i have already uh, uh, 
having a piece of code let me copy it to save time uh, here uh, event trigger is represented as event trigger so what I have done let me explain it to you quickly so I have this event trigger and I am looking out for this routed event mouse enter the moment mouse enters I want to begin a storyboard I want to do an animation which will be of course uh, to 300 I want to change the width of the text box to 300 our duration is uh, 5 seconds and uh, the acceleration ratio is 10 uh, so in this way I want to begin the storyboard and then the moment I leave the mouse leave the mouse leave uh, of course then I want to again do an animation so even trigger is extensively used in animation so let's see this in action okay now the moment I will enter mouse enter event you saw it started animating and it will increase up to 300 the moment I will leave it it will again come back to its original size you see how cool it looks like and then yeah and if you write uh, here text fun then background will change it will hover the mouse all three trigger you can see here in action okay let's come back to the slide again so so yeah these are the concepts that i explained thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye